Thanks, Maria. An update now to a story we first brought you Tuesday. A Westfield police officer hit by a car while directing traffic in a work zone. And we're now getting updated information on that officer's condition. Western Mass News reporter Olivia Hickey joins us live in studio with more on that. Olivia. Well, Chris and Mary, we just learned today that the injured officer was released from the hospital this afternoon. While this is great news for his family and the department, victims of these crashes don't always make a full recovery. A work zone on Western Avenue in Westfield turned into a danger zone after police officer Jared Haig was hit by a car while directing traffic Tuesday morning. We've learned he was released from the hospital on Thursday. The department telling Western Mass News in part, surprisingly great news. From all indications, he is on his way to a full recovery. Unfortunately, this isn't the case for many who suffer work zone related injuries. In Massachusetts, nearly 30 people died in work zone incidents from 2016 to 2020. Jane Terry is with the National Safety Council. She says work zone fatalities have drastically increased over the past decade, with speeding being a common factor. But this isn't the only rising statistic. In the Commonwealth of Massachusetts in 2022, the National Safety Council estimates you've actually had an increase in your road fatalities. That's the same for some of your neighboring states in the new New England area. She says it's important that drivers remain diligent and pay attention any time they get behind a wheel. Just drive when you're behind the wheel. That can make the difference between life and death. But for people who are just trying to do their job. And encourages communities in the Commonwealth to make changes if they can to make work zones and roads safer. In the, the large federal infrastructure bill that passed about a year and a half ago, there was a provision in there to allow states to use federal funding to implement automated enforcement in work zones. And I definitely encourage communities in Massachusetts to look at that as an option. Automated enforcement is a proven effective countermeasure to slowing people down on the roads and using it in work zones can save lives. Police in Westfield have not released any information about the driver or possible changes. Terry adds April is distracted driving month, but encourages people to think about driving safety year round. Reporting live in studio, Olivia Hickey for Western Mass News.